Hello, the Strike TV. Hi, we are here at Distract TV in BFI London Film Festival and we had such a fun interview with the cast and crew of Gas Up. Do you want this kind of money in your hand? And we cannot wait to show you the fun conducted interviews that we had with them. Hi, we're here to distract you. Welcome to Distract TV. How are you feeling today? Ready to <laughs> we're matching. I'm ready to show. Oh shit, hey. I see y'all. I see you. Like. Video of like all of us. Like, look at this match. Ooh, ooh this track TV. You got the memo about the green today. <laughs> you already know what's going on. <laughs> so tell me how you're feeling today. How is the atmosphere in general? I'm feeling good, man. The atmosphere is electric. You know, everybody around is is looking happy. Everyone's excited to see the greatness that we created. So I'm happy too. Man. Now let's dive in the film. Let's start general. How was the experience? The experience was great. I mean, it was a very different experience. I mean, I've never acted in something as stunt filled and action packed as this on motorbikes like it was just it was just a different experience but hey it's all, it's all for the fun of the job you know it was so fun it was um he's a he's a bit of a uh, he's a bit of a clown in the group so the, the highlights were hmm, the hyping up scene before we go do something in the film where we're all kind of dancing and and smacking our chest that was that was a highlight of the a highlight scene What about your favorite highlights of your character? What would you say I really like this about Ash? Um I like Ash and how youthful he is behind closed doors. I mean, to everybody else, he tries to appear like the guy, but behind door, closed doors, he's just this funny guy. I mean, I don't know if you've seen it, but there's a scene where he's he just starts breaking out and dancing because he's just excited about something that's happened previously and more expressive. Yeah, do you know what I mean? You like expression? I mean, I love expression. I'm an actor. I'm an actor. I gotta be expressive, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I love it. Man. One of your co-actors is Miss Banks. Tell us a bit about your experience with working with her. I mean, I've met Miss Banks before. Me and her are kind of cool, but seeing her on a film set was just, was just funny. <laughs> but she done her thing, man. She done her thing, man. I mean, she shut it down. She performed and done. She done sick. So yeah, shout out to Miss Banks. Man. The one important message I want to give in relation to guest up. Just, just be humble and stay in your lane because I mean we saw of Ash, we saw of Ash. I mean, he tried to be the main character, he tried to be the guy. Be like Ash or not be like I'm a, no, don't be like Ash. Don't be like don't Ash. Be like Ash. <laughs> I mean you, yeah. I mean yeah. Don't be like Ash <laughs> because being the guy and be, acting like the main character ain't gonna get you nowhere. It's gonna come with consequences, and you're gonna have to deal with those consequences. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling really well. I'm feeling thankful to be here. Well, I think um, the film, we think the film was beautifully written. Can you t talk about uh, the writing and the process? How, how did it go? Yeah, I, uh, I wrote most of the script while I was sleeping in a van. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing Zooms with, I remember doing Zooms with Bart and George from, from the back of my van uh -huh. uh, while I was in, uh, I was in Bristol at the time. Um, and... Uh, the, the process was a long one. It went on for a, for a good, I think we were working on it for a good year. Um, how long were we working on it? For like a year? Yeah, about a year. It was a, it was a long process. Um, but it was a really rewarding one. It was one from which I've learned a lot and it's one that I'm very thankful for. The, the actual process of writing it may only be like a week at a time or a few weeks at a time, but the process of getting notes and, and trying to really mine what it was that we were trying to do and achieve with certain characters and certain Especially stories. the action scenes like... Well, because it's more... When you're writing a, a, a script that, that has action, I think you kind of... It's more the stunt um, coordinator's medium. So you write enough of, of, uh, of an action sequence for there to be an architecture to how it's going to go. But uh, really, that's where the stunt coordinator gets to be creative. What guidance would you give to other aspiring black filmmakers? 
Well, if you are really a filmmaker and if it's something you really have to do, then just keep doing what you really have to do, which is what I've been doing for over 30 years. Is there any like very like behind the scenes funny experience with Miss Banks or anyone um, that you like remember okay, like that we can like one. spill some tea? I've got one, I've got one. Me coming into my dresser uh -huh. with the rest of the cast and, it, and bear in mind we filmed this in the summer. So right. summer 2022 and I remember one day when we were filming it was like it was a hot 35 or something in London when it's 35 in London you're like you, you don't want to be here you're mounting you what you want to just you want to be in somewhere aircon and there's no aircon anywhere in London um and I just remember walking into my into my dresser and <laughs> people coming out with, with water guns and spraying up everyone as if like they were going to like I don't know as if it was like a surprise attack it's you slang for someone who's got delusions of grandeur who thinks that there's something that they're not who's full of ego and and projecting some sort of false image whether it's on Instagram or TikTok and of course you know our film is about reality and this is what this young person eventually confronts in the course of our story you know and that's what we all have to as human beings and ultimately I'm happy with that you know it's a, a simple story a simple universal coming of age story with some form of a redemptive ending I think there's a I think there's a, there's a heavy element of kind of of loyal loyalty in it, and it's it's about I think for me what I was looking at things that I, I was finding it's it's, it's it's kind of about it's, it's about young men and uh, the dangers with young men aimlessness and where things can go badly wrong. Um, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a story that's kind of quite an uplifting story if you follow it through to its conclusion. It's a universal story, it's an old story, but um, yeah, it's, it's, about, it's about what faces young men. I'm feeling a bit sweaty and a bit hot, but um, I'm feeling good, very happy to be here. I mean, I, from the second that I even like got the script in and I had the opportunity of even imagining myself in this film, it just felt right, you know, I'm, I'm born and raised in London and it was obviously it's London and it's it's it, that kind of resonated with me straight away um, but I I've always wanted to kind of explore acting and this is my first kind of acting gig so yeah exactly um, so this was definitely new for me but I, I enjoyed it so much and I, I'd love to do more for sure I want to know the highlights like anything like spoilers give us the tea give us the behind the scenes give us the thing that nobody needs to know I don't want to get in trouble I think it was just seeing how the other actors worked because obviously I'm new at this so I was trying to like digest as much as possible and I think just watching Stephen like he's so amazing and um, it was just really inspiring to be around that and uh, it was I don't know I, I it sounds really kind of um, vague but I just love being on set and just having just that energy you know I've, I've always loved it it's just on music videos on film sets now it's like I, I just I love being in amongst it it seems like you had a good good time and good, good fun and we can't wait to see more of you any any coming projects film related I can't say too much is there any projects at least be a little some, something 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 which I don't think people will be expecting but um yeah I'm definitely exploring the acting world a bit more. We can definitely expect something coming up then. Oh. Um, first time had such a, a fun fight scene. First time doing some driving, uh, <laughs> driving on the motorbike in a film. Um, so it's a lot of first times for me, so it's memorable. I think that it's got a lot of underlying themes as well. And I know speaking to the director, he's quite, one of his themes that he really wanted to show through the film is love. Um, and friendship between between brothers and between friends and, and family. So I hope that that's that's what comes through because I that's what I see when I watch it. Yeah. Can I can I can I can I spoil the film by saying can I say spoilers? We would love to. <laughs> oh, I'm not getting any spoilers. No 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 no